All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Um, today, we are doing something a little different. Uh, you, you know, it's it's definitely different than my typical content. Um, because today we are going to be taking some kind of like weird personality test thing. Now I know before everybody clicks off the video because they're like, oh, this is boring. I don't care about this. Uh, I get that, right? I definitely get that. But, uh, it's more interesting than that. It's from Nectar, which if you don't know what Nectar is, uh, it's like Jubilee's second channel where they put all of like their weird, new, trendy, fun, I don't, I don't know, whatever the fuck they want to do. Uh, they just make weird shit all the time. Um, but yeah, no. So today we're going to be taking a look at this test from them uh, specifically. So it's like being in a Jubilee video pretty much. That's probably what I titled the video. If not, I don't know. Um, but, you know, let's go ahead and get right into it without wasting any more time. So the first question, I value sharing my feelings with others as they arise. Um, I I don't know, dude. I mean, I guess sure <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what we're gonna get at the end of this but uh, i'm being worrying it now uh it is important for partners to keep certain aspects of their lives private from each other i mean yeah i kind of agree with that um i am presently able to devote time to nurturing a new or current relationship i mean i don't know i'm kind of busy there's a little bit of time. We'll say somewhat agree, right? You know, somewhat agree. Hey, ladies, hit me up. You know, it, it could be you. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I value spending time on my own. I love spending time on my own. You know, I'm a huge introvert. I make YouTube videos. If that doesn't say something about me, I don't know what does. Um, so yeah, we'll go with strongly agree there. It is important for my partners to talk through their problems with one another. Oh, okay. I read that wrong, but yeah, you know, that, that's, that's, I agree. Uh, these have been pretty one-sided questions. I feel, I feel like it would be kind of wild for somebody to pick disagree, but all right. Uh, I believe the quality of sex strongly predicts the quality of the relationship. Not necessarily. I'm going to go with disagree. Uh, I prefer to keep certain aspects of my life private, you know, again, strongly agree. I feel like that's probably a given, uh, it is important for partners to each have their own individual hobbies and interests. I mean, yeah, kind of, sure. Uh, I would like to devote time to nurturing a new or current. I mean, I feel like I already answered this question, so we'll just pick the same answer again. Oh, no, they're going to make me sign up. Why? What what garbage email can I throw in there? Actually, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get a fake email real quick, you know, and I could stop the recording and, uh, you know, just do this separately. But honestly, I kind of like the comedic value it holds if I just leave it in. So we're going to be going to my my temp mail, aka, you know, temporary email. If you don't got the app on your phone, I really recommend it. Uh, it's great for stuff like this. Uh, so we got so Wes one six five uh, 20 right at. Um, I don't know how the, how do you say that? D, D icon. Yeah. D icon. We'll go with that. Uh, dot com. All right. There we go. Nice. Easy. Let's hope it works. Um, sign up. Okay. And look at that. We're moving. We're back. We are, we're back. Um, <laughs> I didn't know it was going to make me do that, but okay. Uh, I prefer to process my feelings on my own. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of true uh, i'm not really a big talker um i can be occasionally but we'll go with agree engaging in activities is more fun if shared with a partner i mean yeah that's kind of true like friends or other people it's kind of always more fun to share things with other people so whether that be a partner or something else yeah sure why not um it is more important it, why where am i putting where am i getting more from it is important for partners to be comfortable with one another before sharing topics that may be difficult to talk about yeah that's probably pretty true i mean i don't know i guess there's some things where you just kind of got to let them out the bag like quick uh you know good things to just talk about right away because some things might not work out but you know um yeah you know we'll go with agree i don't know don't gotta make it too difficult I would feel uncomfortable having sex with my partner when I'm upset with them. Um, I guess. I don't know. Depends. Um, <laughs> that's probably a really sus answer, but 
I don't know. Uh, I'm at a place in my life where I want to prioritize. And I mean, like I said, not really, but it's, I feel like we've answered this question like 900 times. Uh, it is important for me to always be included in my partner's plan. No, hell no. Fuck that. Um, <laughs> it is important to have an emotional connection prior to having sex. Maybe depends on what you're trying to do. You know, depends on what you're trying to do. So I'm going to say somewhat disagree because it depends. Uh, learning about a romantic partner takes time. Of course, uh, I prefer to consider solutions to my problems on my own before asking others for help. Again, I feel like I already answered that question. When making plans with friends, it is important to always include your partner. Not really. Uh, Saturdays are for the boys. You know, if you want to make plans with them, that's fine, but not always. Uh, I know what I look for in a partner. I feel like I'm I'm getting there. Uh, you know, we'll get there eventually, but I'm getting close. I believe that sex without love is not satisfying. I don't, dude, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And I guarantee 90% of you guys don't know either. Um, I, we'll just go with disagree. Or no, we'll go with somewhat disagree. I don't know. Who cares? I feel confident I have the energy needed to build or no. I mean, I swear to God, this is the third time answering this question. Uh, I feel comfortable sharing all aspects of my life with others. I mean, I do share quite a bit on here with you guys. So I guess we'll put agree. Um, <laughs> having sex with your partner helps you to learn more about them. I guess like not really, but I guess sure. Uh, it is important for partners to express everything they're feeling to one another. Not necessarily. There's some things that, you know, you can keep to yourself. You know, you don't got to put everything out there on the table. Just what you're comfortable with, you know. Um, it is important for people to spend time with their friends without their partner. Yeah, strongly agree for sure. Uh, it is important for partners to share all aspects of their lives with one another. I swear to God, I've answered this 900 times. We're going to go with strongly disagree this time. I don't know if that's what I put before, but I'm putting it now. I'm at a place in my life where I'm able to prioritize. Dude, holy cow. <laughs> this is wild, man. This is wild. Uh, I prefer to reveal myself to others over time. Yeah, that's kind of true. Uh, I'm a little quiet at first. You know, even on the YouTube channel, like if you look back at those first few videos or like the first year I was doing this, I was way quiet. Now I'm a lot more relaxed and chilled and you know, it's it's easy. It's easy talking to you guys. It wasn't before though, but it is now. So we'll go with strongly agree. Um, I do not express everything that I am feeling. Again, strongly agree. I don't think anybody really does. Everybody's got, you know, their own shit going on inside of them. So I don't know. Uh, to fully know your partner, you must be physically intimate with them. Not really. Not necessarily. Um, having a relationship is not currently a priority in my life. I guess I agree because it's not really like a priority. If it happens, it's cool. But if not, I don't really care. Uh, an emotional connection is more important to a relationship than a physical connection. That is That is true. I do kind of agree with that. Uh, it is important for partners to spend the majority of their time together. I mean, I don't know, dude. I I don't know. Um, no, somewhat disagree. We'll say that. It is important for people to spend time reflecting on how they feel before sharing with their partner. I already have answered this a bunch of times. I think we finished. Let's go. Okay. All right. Let's see. <laughs> what does that say r-i-e-g what is that reek dude what does this mean i i did not read anything about this before i probably should have but oh well um <laughs> all right so let, let's find out about me you know let's let's find out what, what jubilee thinks about me um you know like like i guess they would on one of their shows i i don't know uh your nectar love print is reek I don't know if I'm supposed to pronounce it like that or not. Doesn't really tell me. Uh, my color is lavender. I am reflective. An I person. The fuck does that mean? Who knows? Uh, I'm emotional, apparently. And I'm guarded. <laughs> what? what does that mean? I don't know. My motto is love with caution. All right, sure. Uh, my love print number is five. So I prioritize making connections with people. Also, I know that there's this whole thing over here. Um, we're, we'll talk about that later after I read this. So let's keep reading, right? 
Uh, for you, your approach, you approach relationships with caution and cherish your independence and privacy. A partner will likely start off as a friend as you patiently get to know them and build trust, taking frequent timeouts to reflect on your feelings before communicating them. Dude, this is just like revealing some like deep, like, uh, suppressed issues inside myself. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> Like, why Why is it weirdly speaking to me? Uh, also, why do they not use capital letters? That's kind of annoying me. I can't lie, but okay. Uh, you value emotional connection over physical contact, and even as you gradually get closer to your partner, you prefer to keep some of your hobbies and friends to yourself. I mean, I guess that's kind of true. I don't know. Sure. I'm a reflective communicator. All right, let's see what this one means. Uh, you need space and time alone to process your thoughts and feelings when there's a disagreement. You don't want to just react. You want to intentionally respond. So you take some time to think. No big deal. You got to feel everything out before you can figure out what you really mean to say. I mean, I guess, I guess, but not really. I do like freestyle all of my videos pretty much. Like I don't really think about a whole lot when I'm talking to you guys. It literally is just whatever's at the top of my mind gets said. So like... I don't really know if that one's true. Uh, talking to other people, I guess I, I guess I think it out a little more because there's going to be like uh, direct instant feedback where I guess with this, it like goes through a whole comment section and I could kind of just ignore uh, people I, I don't really care about. But <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess I guess maybe that's true. That It's debatable. I am an I person. You believe nobody completes anyone. You have your own interests, hobbies, and friends. You might like to keep all of that or some of that separate, even when you're together. Being in a partnership doesn't mean you stop being who you are. Self-care and all that. What, what, what does that mean? You want to make sure you care for yourself as much as you care for each other. I mean, I guess that's kind of true. I kind of like to keep my independence a little bit, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> you know, the more shocking thing here is that I've actually read all of these without making too many mistakes, even though like I literally cannot read, um, but I'm doing well for myself today. Uh, you prefer emotional intimacy for you. Emotional closeness comes before physical contact. Would you feel emotionally connected and are able to share the most intimate parts of yourself with your partner? Your, your desire for them soars. It's all about feeling emotionally safe with your partner. Like you could rely on them to be available for your needs that bonds you. What I, I don't know what I just read. I'm sure I read it wrong, but whatever. Um, I don't know what that means. And uh, we're going to move on from that one. You are guarded. Getting to know someone doesn't happen all at once. Being guarded doesn't necessarily mean you aren't open. It just means that you prefer things to unfold organically. You and your partner can't just show each other everything. Your inner worlds are sacred to be gradually explored. <laughs> Entrance needs to be earned with trust and building trust takes time. Uh, that's a little wild. I mean, I don't know if I would put it so like fairy tale like but all right jubilee sure um your love print number is five you you're prioritizing making connections with other people you're seeking something with substance but not concerned with any promise of performance you want something more meaningful than wild fun so while you like to leave things open your one condition is that whatever happens it should matter i guess that's kind of true but i i don't really know i really only understood like the last uh the last like little bit of that but okay uh so communication i guess i'm reflective i don't just spew shit out all the time um may, it might be contrary to what i do on youtube but okay uh the partnership is an i thing not a we thing i guess that's kind of true uh intimacy emotional and vulnerability. I'm not very open, apparently. <laughs> apparently, I'm very not uh, not not vulnerable. So uh, yeah, interesting. Um, this has been a weird video. Uh, I think I made another one of these not that long ago, so you might be seeing that because I know I haven't put that one out yet. This one might be coming out before that or after that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, as always, if you did, make sure you leave a like as well as hit that subscribe button. Helps me out massively. Uh, and yeah, you know, as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Uh, also, if you go take this, 
uh go ahead and uh send me it yeah send me your results in fact you know i'm gonna start something just so everybody could see when i made this video uh we're gonna we're gonna tweet this out um right now on on the video uh we're, we are going to tweet this out on the video which is crazy um because now you get to see who i follow on twitter and uh literally one of the first ones that pops up on my on my uh my timeline is is mia malkova so that that's not a great look for me honestly but you know let's let's just make the tweet uh we're gonna put jubilee uh knows me uh me so well okay so uh go find the tweet and under that tweet Give me your results because I, I, I want to know them. Uh, you know, I do want to know them. We are going to go ahead and tweet this. Actually, I'm like, I, I love views. So we're going to put hashtags, uh, you know, just Nectar, uh, Jubilee. See, you know, you guys are just getting more like uh, insight into how I make my videos because this is how I actually do hashtags and stuff. I, I just like throw out random words, uh, love type or love print that's what it was called my bad my bad uh okay there we go we'll go ahead and and tweet that like an absolute legend my tweets are legendary go follow me on twitter and uh yeah you know thank you guys so much for watching like i said i will see you guys later i probably have to blur that picture of mia malkova uh because that's looking a little suspicious and uh yeah you know have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see you guys later goodbye